Good day, Dominic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. It is Monday, March 21st, uh, and today is the day that the boys are coming into town. Uh, I had to get up extra early today to get the vlog edited, compressed, and uploaded to YouTube, so it's like 25 after 8, and I'm just compressing it now. It is just after. It's uh, almost 8.30. Uh, I just got a, a notification that the boys are on the plane and headed to, to Hawaii. That's where I'm going, eventually. Uh, they're heading to, uh, just turn that a little bit, uh, to Canada. And they'll be here by around one o'clock, or they'll land at one o'clock, and it'll take them like 25 minutes to get out of that situation into the car. So I have to build a thumbnail right now, and then start editing as fast as I can the smoked poutinery video, and get that out as quickly as I can. If I don't have time to upload it right now, I'm gonna get to the hotel and upload it from the hotel. Hope they got good internet. Oh, this lighting is crazy. Uh, I think I just broke a world record for myself. Uh, I put this whole video together. I think I started around 8.30, and it's like 9.37 right now. So it just took over an hour to zip through it, take out all the crap, put it together as tightly as possible. I think at this point in time, it's eight and a half minutes long, even with a few bloopers and the CraveCon little shout out thing at the end. End card, as they say. Um, so that's a, a world record. And for some reason, when I talk to you, I like to like itch right there. I don't know why. Uh, Ninja's enjoying the sunshine, look at that. Oh, it's so baby. Are you a baby? Yes, he is. Oh. What? Wow, big yawn, big yawn. Uh, yeah, so that's gonna be hopefully good because I need to shave, shower, pack, and get the hell out of here. I'm almost finished my coffee, then I'm gonna drink some water. All right, guys. Uh, I'm all packed up. I finished editing, speed edit. I'm compressing right now. Uh, as soon as it finishes, compresses, I, I can hit upload to YouTube and then I can just go and then I can phone uh, Megan later on and ask her if she can shut my computer off for me. Don't want to leave it on for four days. Somebody will shut it off for me. It just looks like it's off when nobody's using it, so I'm gonna tell somebody. Anyway, so very stressful morning. Very busy, busy, busy morning. Oh, another dog, no. Too many dogs. So this was all melted yesterday. Now it's all frozen again. That's how cold it was. It actually was snowing a little bit this morning. Like just like, it almost looked like dust flying all over the place. That's what kind of snow it was. Anyway, so we'll walk the dog. I've already packed the car. Carol cleaned my car for me. What a doll. Best lady in the world. Best wife in the world. I've got her. She's all mine. Come on, Sam. We are on our way downtown Toronto and uh, we're heading down the 404. <clears throat> I wanted to buy a, a 2 4 of Canadian, Molson Canadian, and have it in their room for when they arrive. But I don't think I'm going to have time. Uh, I'm not, I haven't planned this out very well. We'll have to get it on the way there or on the way back. I don't know. The day will unfold as it sees fit. So I'm trying not to speed. <laughs> Going down the highway, it is 11.30. I can see Toronto way down there. You can see the CN Tower. You probably can't see it with this camera. <clears throat> but it's almost 11.30 and I gotta be there by at least 12 to hopefully check in. They might not let me check in. They might let me check in. I don't know. It always depends on if your room's ready or not. They're cleaning it from the last person. Ew. Totally locked out. So far, zero traffic. I might be cursing myself right now, but this area right here that I'm in is usually in a stopped position. Uh, so we're just heading over the 401. That's the 401 down there. And usually all that highway converges with this highway and causes a very thick congestion through this area. As you can see, people are coming up from the eastbound, the westbound, and uh, they all converge onto these three lanes. So uh, it usually isn't as 
easy as this, so I'm hoping it's still like this all the way down, and that'll give me that extra bonus time to get my room, hopefully, and to get some beer and maybe put it in their room and surprise them. That'd be kind of cool. Put on a red light! Ah, uh, we are getting closer to the big, the big T. There's your CN Tower. <clears throat> We're just passing uh, near Bloor Street, which is one of the biggest roads going through Toronto, all the way through it. And there's the, uh, the bridge. And if we're lucky, we'll see a subway go underneath the bridge. It's a double-decker bridge, cars on top, subways underneath. And there isn't one. Oh well, maybe next time, people. I'll be stretching my mouth to let those big words come right out. Okay, we are downtown Toronto. We are uh, on Richmond Street West. So every once in a while you can see the CN Tower through the buildings on the left. So right now I'm going to head straight to the uh, building, my hotel, and then I'm going to look for a beer store so I can get a 2-4 for the boys. Oh, by the way, it is 10 to 12. Can't believe. That's probably like a, a world record for me to get downtown from, right from my house. Turn right onto Church Street. Okay, let's do it. Alright, so I made it to the hotel. I have to illegally park for a minute. Uh, There's Dundas uh, Square. This is the hotel. And uh, I just gotta quickly go in and see if I can check in and where to park my car. Thanks. Alright, I checked in. Got my room. The limo guy is here. It is a really spacious uh, Lincoln SUV. So I'm just gonna the check-in girl. She said uh, the beer store is right here underneath the Cineplex Odeon place. So I'm gonna zip in there. So that's Dundas Square. There's lots of events happen. Yeah. Anyway, let's go. All right, so the beer store is right there. The boys will be happy to hear that. Do the roundabout thing. Let's grab 12 beers. I was gonna grab six, but they might be hungrier than that, or thirstier than that. So I'm gonna get back to my hotel. That's funny, I never paid attention to that hotel being there. It's right there. They, they booked, a, booked a really good spot to be in Toronto. There's my limo guy and the limo. Good to go, sir. All right, guys, so I've got an awesome driver named Sri. Did I say it right? You got it. Got it, nice. So we got this huge freak vehicle. This is a Lincoln? No, sir, it's a Suburban, Chevy. Chevy, oh, Chevy. It looks, feels like a Lincoln. <laughs> it looks, it's all big and luxurious. Luxurious? Luxurious? Yeah, oh, man. You turn on, on YouTube? Yeah. So the... All right, guys, I am at the airport. One of the best things about Pearson is at Terminal 1 arrivals, you got Tim Hortons right there, which is cool. International arrivals, check that out. Aw, I should buy them flowers. They were on... <laughs> Air Canada AC869. Uh, this is the international arrivals. So it says arrived at 12.58. And it is 117, so they're probably getting their bag, going through customs, or going through customs, getting their bag. Stuff like that. Now it's just a waiting game. So I'm just talking with uh, 
Pauly, they landed, they got through customs, which is usually the longest process, but he says they're in the queue to get their bag. And uh, I'm not sure what he means by that. So he said, maybe a while, sorry, dude. I'm like, oh man, we'll find out. Hopefully they get their bag fast. That'd be nice. It is now uh, 150, just struck 150. And uh, lots of people are coming out, but not my boys. They ain't coming out yet, but we'll see. We should be here soon. It's, it's now almost 10 minutes after two. I don't recall it taking me that long to get through customs to get my bag when I came back from England. So I'm not sure what's going on. So it is now 26 after two. And they are still not out of there. I came to the conclusion that they had to strip search Matt once again. It is 2.39 and they just arrived. So they are, yay! How you doing, buddy? I'm sorry that took so long. That's all right. That was hectic. No, shit. Did you get strip searched again? Big hug, man. He actually got taken off into a room. Big hug. Oh, you got taken into a room. No way. I nearly yeah, was not allowed in your Canadian country. <laughs> yeah, I know. He nearly got deported. And, and Lewis is still in there getting searched. Uh, yeah, he's, he enjoyed uh, it so much, he stayed for well, a second. You know. <laughs> Let's get away from the ramp a bit. <laughs> how you guys yeah, how was the flight? Um, yeah, all right. Well, all right? I got as drunk as I could. No. Just, to, just well, to sleep. I got beers for you in the, the limo. Oh, the limo. Well, baby. Yeah, she got a limo, yeah. It's an SOV. Immigration people are not nice. Yes, they are. <laughs> to, our, to our cousins. That is so horrible to me. Yeah, hey, you go to England, they're like, yeah, come in. Yeah. They're like, you're not leaving, are you? I was like, yes, I am leaving. No, you're not. You can't prove you're leaving. I'm like, I am leaving. I'm here for a week. If it wasn't my birthday, like literally tomorrow, I wouldn't be in your country right now. I'll tease you about Okay, they are here. We're going far left. Yeah, even coming into your country, I was like, they're like, you're Canadian? Yeah, come on in. <laughs> here in Canada, they don't, they don't, they don't trust. Still shut the fuck up. They don't trust uh, English drunk people, I guess. Yeah, she, well, you know. Oh, so she probably has a really bad home just, life. Oh, Maybe. <laughs> so I was just talking to the one about the Maple Leafs, and she was like, yeah, Dude, I'm, I'm having a go chat with yeah, me. Yeah, I, should, I should have mailed you guys hats. Yeah. In Toronto Maple Leaf hats, you guys would have got in. And have a bear. Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't know what about that. That's good. Yeah, sure. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we've made it to Toronto, the boys are, that's all their first times in Toronto, which is very cool, so I get to show them around. I'm the first. Hello. Are you all together? Yeah. They're, they finally got them. All right, guys, we're all checked in. Uh, the boys uh, are like 10 floors below me. They put me on the 18th floor, so this is the hallway. And this is the view at the end of my hallway. Really nice church view. I believe we are facing south. I'm all disoriented. So this is the room. It's a little bit bigger than the one I stayed at in, in England. In England. But there's your washroom. I'm going to turn light, some lights on for you. Light. Don't want the fan on. Nice sink. The toilet, and you got a nice shower. I don't like showers without a curtain. It gets really messy. Water everywhere. So we got the little fridge. Like I said, I wanted to really uh, load up the boys' fridge with, with beer and stuff. Anyway, so, so this is my room. I got a little somewhat of a desk, and she said I got a good view. Well, look at that, Dundas Square. Nice. Can't see the CN Tower from here, but it's just over here. Somewhere over there. Very cool. So I'm just gonna uh, grab a beer, try to relax for a minute, and then the boys are hungry, they wanna go eat. Heard some uh, noise, and uh, so I just came outside my room, because you can barely see it from that window, but this is obviously the hospital. 
I didn't notice it from this angle, uh, but there's an ambulance helicopter on top just taken off, which is very cool. Very noisy. I just asked the boys if they wanted to come up for a quick beer, but I don't think they are. Let's see if he takes off and goes in a certain direction. Probably has to go straight up for a bit and then has a special flight plan. Don't have time. No time to wait. He's taking off now. Yeah, he has to go straight up. Let's go check. Cool helicopters. I have my key in my pocket. Yes. Oh, he's gone. Holy crap. All right, I'm off to the boys' room. They're on a different floor. I've got my card key. Yes, good. Click, good. Always make sure it clicks, people. I'm carrying a box with four beers in it. I got this one. Just ask the boys if they just want to have a quick beer before we go out for dinner. We might be going to the Hard Rock Cafe. Not sure if that's what they want to do or not, or I didn't really kind of research the best, like Canadianized restaurants. We'll definitely be going to Poutine uh, Smokes. That's definitely Canadian. Let's press the floor that I can't tell you. It's a secret. It's a secret. Is it secret? Is it safe? Ooh. That's got another text. Hello. He's, he's walking his ass. Oh, goodness. Oh, can yeah, I don't know how to Can you ring, um, uh, the ammo losers for us? Yeah. You good? We are in the boys' room. This is... Get <laughs> <laughs> off my bed. Oh, sorry. That's how I lost my hundred dollars. <laughs> so, apparently, uh, Matt... Lost $100 Canadian, probably on the spent. flight over. Do you think those, he spent it? Those are real Cadbury's, those are made from oh, Hershey's. Yeah, they're made from Hershey's. Oh, look that's at insane. that, people. Real chocolate from England. Mmm. Hey, it's laced with LSD. Nice. Yeah. You're going to be tripping. It's the only chocolate you can get. I got it across the border. I wouldn't wear that uh, shirt in, in Toronto. What the fuck? <laughs> Just kidding. Like, They'll be like, Want to play some football? It's a beef game. Be like, what are you talking kidding. about? No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> what? No one cares. It's a leaf game tonight, isn't it? Uh, is it Calgary, do you think it's tonight? Calgary. It'll be Calgary tonight. Tonight or tomorrow? Calgary Flames tonight. Let's ask Siri. Oh, I don't Calgary, have my phone. Calgary, Calgary Flames tonight. Ducks. Anaheim Ducks on Thursday. Thursday. Boston Bruins on Saturday. Nice. Done my research. So Boom. we're going to go see the Boston Bruins play. You got care. free he tickets, bro. Well, not for you guys. You had to pay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about hundred dollars. How much money are you taking right now? We are going to the High Rock Cafe. Uh, it's up to you. What do you want to eat? So. Um, I just honestly anything I made, but I want to try something a bit different. Oh, different! But you guys have a Hard Rock Cafe. Yeah, we do. But in Southampton? No, no, we don't. But um, these guys probably have been to one. I've been to one that I'm hoping. But you want a sit-down well, restaurant? Yeah, probably the this. Yes. Hard Rock. Thank you. Let me see the card. The Star Wars 20. Is it a. Is it a I have no idea what it is. How many people? Uh, six. Five, sorry. So you want to sit together? You want to sit three and three? Three and two? Uh, all together, yeah. All together. Okay, all right. So have the discount. Thank you. Oh, man, Thank you. She's on it, eh? She's like. She's hey, like, man! Hi, hi, hi! No, that's uh, Australia, sorry. Is it? Oh, oi, oi, oi. It smells like weed. Wait, that's weed. Weed. Welcome to Toronto. <laughs> Is it legal here? Huge. Uh, you, um, oh, yeah, you have to be sick. You have to be sick. You have to be sick to smoke it. Oh, no. Seriously, we're just, just as we're walking right there, there's this huge waft of marijuana. Marijuana. La marijuana. La mara Did you smell the weed? I think it was Harry. Yeah. There's in the list of some girls who's doing that. Just don't walk down that alley. That's the number one death spot in Toronto right there. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. 
Okay, so we're just uh, going to find a place to eat now, and here's like the big centre of stuff here. It's incredible. Yes. Right? It's, it's not as cold around here as I thought it was going to be. So I'm pretty much wearing what I would walk uh, around in England, where it's about the same sort of temperature anyway, so I'm not too bad. Uh, Oops, I'm, wrong button. I'm quite, quite happy with that. Uh, yeah, I've got voice pounds and stuff. That's one thing I'm not used to. <laughs> In Toronto, we call them streetcars. Streetcars, oh, okay. Trams, exactly. streetcars. Tram, yeah, tram, yeah. That's how I get you fucked up. I get you fucked up with tram, doll, and then I'm gonna get you on the tram. Yeah. <laughs> the streetcars, I don't want Tram, tram, oh, is that what they call it? So right now it's three degrees Celsius. Yeah. It's a bit fucking cold, isn't it? It's cold. It's not too bad. My, nip, my nipples windy. are hard. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently over there, they're advertising <laughs> Batman just, versus right. Superman. Yeah. Yeah. I think Batman yeah. <laughs> Batman oh. Superman is kind of like Yeah, I think something's playing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like Don't walk good. down this one at night time. Why? 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 You'll die. I've been told commanders <laughs> are super nice though. Like they, they will say sorry while kicking the shit out of you. The, the, thing, the good thing about <laughs> we'll the good thing about Toronto <laughs> is we kick. we recycle the corpses. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, we put okay. the we put them in the compost. Oh, and then, oh and you, then say, you say compost wrong. Like, compost. 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 So, are you guys interested in hard rock or something Let's different? Go. Do you want to go there? Let's go there. Let's go there. All right, so we did manage to get into uh, the hard rock cafe without being arrested because Matt is really drunk and uh, he's hitting on all the waitresses. Yeah. Are, we are we doing? I just said we, have, we gave you the good music. No, you said something really... Offensive to her. Just okay, so it just comes to <laughs> All right, what did we order? We ordered the Orden, the legendary, the legendary burger here. Uh, you had wings. So, no thanks. Not yet. Uh, after we finish our burgers, which look absolutely amazing. Well, I don't know. Who's, oh, yours looks way better than mine. Right. If I turn it sideways, maybe. Does yours look good? Oh, yours looks way better than mine. Well, I took the onion ring out though. Oh, put it back in. I'll put it back in for you. Look, quickly. Oh, look <laughs> at the size of that beast. Are you going to eat it? No, I'm going to look at it. No, he's going to look at it. <laughs> just staring like, oh, just look at it. It's going to take pictures, <laughs> put it on our Facebook, so and not eat it. Me. Hard Rock Cafe. So anyway, I was moaning. That was my review. It was not hot enough. It wasn't Damn, hot enough. So hot enough, uh, Hard Rock, get on that. So Paul has to make me really hot wings. That's what I'm it, saying. I don't think you'll be able to finish them. Really? Oh, you know, I think you will. You guys have done some pretty crazy things. Yes. So, what did you rate your burger? Ooh, uh, Out of ten. Uh, sure. It's like a six or seven. Well, six or seven. So, right, I didn't want to say when we were in there, but I didn't really good, think it was that great. Nothing special. I'll give seven. It a seven. A seven. Seven. It was. It was but really wanted to the weather spoons. Oh yeah, we're... I can't believe we took it to Weatherspoon. Yours? Uh, yeah, about seven. This it was alright. I, I think I'll, I'll up it to an eight because it was it was pretty good burger. Although it was. I mean an eight. The only way you can get higher than that is with like a hand pressed patty. He's a professional well, reviewer. I, I agree with him. Number eight. So I can't really have a real opinion. Yeah. I found myself. Like, the only thing I took out was a tomato. Yeah. You took out a tomato. Yeah. I added his tomato to mine, so yeah. it made mine extra so, juicy. Maybe maybe I can't really give it a fair review because I took loads of stuff out, but to me it just didn't taste many. I found myself to use. The sauce looks uh, but I never eat tomatoes at all. Right. We will change that. Oh, okay. 36 years old. 36. <laughs> Come on, it's like you're 36. Right now. I've been 36. For about, about like three months. months. I was I telling that, Lewis that when I turned 36 is when I started eating so, tomatoes. So specific. Yes. Around, around that time. Like, it took me a long time to get back into tomatoes. Oh, just because I knew I was missing out on something good. <laughs> in life. One of my favorite places in Toronto is called the Silver Snail Comic Book Shop. And I've been going... It never used to be here. It used to be on Queen Street when I was, like, a teenager. And I used to go down there, buy my comic books, meet up with comic book drawing heroes, and uh, but then they moved to this location. So it's a comic book store. It's a comic book store. I love and they, comic book store. And, they, and they've got like really big, like five hundred dollar busts of of comic book heroes. I was going to take you to the Hong Kong comic book store that I love in Southampton, but I never had a chance to do it. So I'm kind of glad that like, if you come down the way, I could show you. But then again, there's ones in London anyway, so I could show you them there. I can't believe like. you'd put your kid over me, really. <laughs> so what, this what? is this is the silver snail. 
Wow, this is cool. It is very cool. <laughs> Do we have everybody? Is this one of massage places? Yes. <laughs> he goes, this is a massage place. Oh, wow. We got Superman, R2-D2. Wow, that was good. Yeah, right. Superman, R2-D2, and then unlimited comic books. Whatever you like. They've got, oh, wait, one more thing. Squid. Is that your fave? No, just the fact that uh, Robert Ducky is amazing. That is incredible. Robert Ducky, you're the one. Robert Ducky. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that is Batman. Right there. Section. Nice. Yeah, so I was like, ah, oh, I knew they would have it here. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to spread. Whoa! I ran into a Harry. Hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> hey, I'm walking here. I heard on the podcast over there about there being some billboards and that people vote and then about their level. And then every time someone loses, they like deface it. If that makes sense. Really? Oh, yeah. So, the, oh, so I, on a, I listened to a podcast that the like, Canadian they're from Toronto. Oh, I didn't they're, know that. Like a wrestling podcast. And I live here. Yeah, and, like, that's what they said. I don't know if it's that one. So, yeah, weird. Huh. That's why I was staring at it. I thought you were just ha hypnotized. <laughs> No, it's just a lack of sleep. The lack of sleep. <laughs> so this is the boy's first time in a beer store I never knew that called The Beer Store. You see, in England, it's just, it's on, you, you know, you, you, you can got, buy it anywhere. you got your supermarket, you got your sandwiches, you, you know, your snack, and then just booze. Right. Next to it. It's right there. On the, on the freezer. On the and it only makes store. sense, really. Why don't we have cans like this in England? I know we have bins drinking in England. <laughs> But it's, I'm pretty sure it's everywhere. You know, you know what they have here, guys? Is your four loco, but it's yeah. weak four loco. So in in the states, it's not. It's twelve percent. Yeah, there's twelve percent in the states here. It's like eight. Fifteen cans. Oh, they have Pat's Blue Ribbon. My favorite. I say it's my favorite. It's my favorite. Just like uh, you know, southern beer. So if you guys like imports, then you have to go to the liquor store uh, to buy those well, specific yeah, beers. Yeah. Oh, Why never, I, man? never heard of that. Oh, yeah, Pat. Are we not? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. It's a joke. Uh, yeah, I was joking. It's a joke. Wink, I was wink, wink. a joke. Do you do, no, bud, do you do Bud Rita's here? Do we do Reese? Bud, bud Rita's. Bud Rita's. Uh, maybe. At the liquor store. Possibly. What the but when you're in Canada, that? you don't want to do... What's, what's Bud Rita? Oh, Bud Rita. But what is Bud Rita? Is that... You ever seen the Bud Rita's? No. Oh, we had it when we were in... Um, oh, so oh, so it's not an English shop. thing? No, it's American. Oh, oh okay. Chances are we got it. It's a lie. We need a beer, so I don't have to go to Rita's here. Uh, Apparently, we could just walk into your house. <laughs> yes. Pretty good. And, make, make and, and, it, and this is what Santa Claus. This is what Santa Claus does during his off season. Oh shit! Typical uh, musician in Toronto, just trying to make a couple bucks. I, th I think one of the world records for Toronto, there was a guy that played this really weird instrument and he made like 10 grand in a week. Yeah, just by playing this really strange instrument. I saw a documentary about people who, homeless people who would move to LA and live on the streets there, but because they bust at the right places at the right time, they made enough to, they made more than I did. Nice. And you're a YouTuber, you're famous. Yeah. I think um, I think a lot of people don't understand being a YouTuber. They don't. Doesn't, doesn't mean rich. No. They don't go hand in hand. It means awesome. <laughs> so that's the LCBO hang a left. <laughs> yeah. This is this is where you, this is the only place you can buy liquor. Is that the cure? 
Mama, I'm home. So with it, like, is Tim Hortons like your number one? Like, it seems that everyone talks about it. Uh, Tim Hortons is like our number one coffee shop donut store. Ah, uh, okay. It's oh, just so cool. big. It's so everywhere that people go there. So again, you can buy beer and liquor here no, and wine. Okay. I've been so good and I drink this and like, as you can tell, I just kind of pulled apart me today. All right, guys, this is the first time you guys have seen. Why are they loony toonies? Is it a loony? This and a loony. Toonie. Well, just because there was a loon on it, somebody just said, hey, let's just call it a loony. And that's just the way that happened. And of course, when the $2 coin came out, they just inevitably toonie. called it a toonie. It's a loony and a toonie. Loony, Fair there enough, you go. Give me that. <laughs> so grab yourself a donut. I'm going to go. I don't want one do now, but that pork pork sandwich is incredible. Do you have had it? No, I said I don't, oh, it looks I don't good. want one now, but it costs oh. that that does look they have uh, all the donuts are in the little thingy over there. We are coming out of the underground. I don't feel the feels of feels. Oh, Paul squeezing in. Aye. He's so friendly. So, so your time it's like one o'clock in the morning. I'd rather do that than feed you. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, 7-Eleven, okay. Where'd you learn to shoot like that? 7-Eleven. Yeah, right, yeah. Uh, back to the future. Three. Three. All right, just dropped the boys off at the hotel. I am now on a, on a hunt looking for my car. I can't remember exactly where I parked. I was in such a panic. I think it's just on this next street, church, and just down a little bit, but we'll see. <laughs> Oh uh, boy. So I had a lot of fun in the uh, underground concourse. Supposedly it's an urban legend in England. They've heard of this thing, this underground city town. So it was kind of neat to show them. Anyway, so they uh, want to kick back, relax for a minute. And then they want to. Oh, is that where I parked? Nope. And they uh, then they want to go to a bar or something. I'm not sure what's what kind of bar they want to go to. It is Monday night, so not a whole lot happening there. Ah, oh, there's my car. That's why. I, that's kind of what I wanted to rent for the boys when they when they arrived. But uh, we are on our way to a bar. But these guys saw a sports shop there's some old jerseys there for you guys yeah they're beautiful oh, yeah, that one eh so way back in the nice. old time very cool oh it's my um uh buffalo saber jersey you've got yeah oh mate that hat's beautiful is it snapback or is it a i don't think it's snapback i, think it's I don't like snapbacks it's in the mirror i love snapbacks oh do you yeah i don't i, like, I, don't I prefer the flex fit I'm or not new mirrors, and I think fixed a new mirror, Crazy Canadians with their cameras. Hey, Guy, Ken, Ken's told us about this strip club here. Says, I've never been there before <laughs> in my life. <laughs> no, I believe. But hey, with all the bright lights, you can't, you know. It's right, well, it's the lights that attract me in. <laughs> That's right. So the next time you're in Toronto, like a married man to divorce. Check, check out the Zanza bar. Oh no. We discovered this bar here called the Beer Bistro. Oh, it's a bit posh in here, isn't it? Oh, we got seats. Look at that table. It says our name on it. Uh, Hello. Four. Drinks. Anywhere in the print section. Here? No, go right ahead. Okay. Get this side quick. <laughs> Back to the wall. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you. It looks like they got lots of taps on the wall there, boys. Yeah, the Lisa win. Oh, are they really? All oh, right. The Lisa never win. That's because you guys are here. Yeah, we're, lucky. we're lucky, Pocky, here. 
come all hockey uh, players, why is LeBron good looking? I don't know. And then what's that not been done? All right, Polly, what did you order? Let's see the label. It, it's called Saint of Circumstance. You should like that because it's like the Saints. Yeah. Like your, your football team. Exactly, but the bottle's quite groovy. That is very groovy. And what did you think of it? It's actually quite nice. It's, uh, I like, it's, I only went for, I asked for a lager, but I normally don't do that anyway. I normally prefer L's. But yeah, this is like a nice middle ground of L slash lager. It's quite nice, yeah. It's uh, very hoppy. hoppy. I'm not a hoppy kind of beer guy. Hoppy. <laughs> hoppy. And what did you drink? I've got some Spirit of the Tree Cider. It's out of that, Spirit of the Tree. Is that what it's called? Spirit of the Tree? Yeah, it's out of that. Spirit and? Tree Cider. Uh, some hippie, I'm more of a pear, pear fan than an apple fan. So it's all right, but not, oh, okay. so, not so good, really good pick. Uh, so you like the pear? Cider as opposed to an apple yeah. cider. Ah, that sounds actually better than yeah. so it's sweet Lewis. And how'd you I like? I got the same as Harry, but I'm not a big fan. As you can tell, it's hard to touch. Uh-oh. It's not like, so I just chug, 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 chug. <laughs> not resort to peer, peer pressure, kids. You're slurring. Just too fucking <laughs> you, um, I'm trying to be so enthusiastic and it's just not good for me. I find that over this side yeah. of the world you don't really do much like pear cider and, and cider in general. No, um, but if I I'll have to send you some proper like Swedish cider like Swedish cider is your yeah, favourite like, of all time. Bergen, record leg, like nice. really, really good sweet stuff. Sweet, sweet okay. Stuff. Like kinda of like syrup? No. No? no. no. Not that kind of sweet. No, no, no. no. Just sharp, like. Ah, sharp. Quit working. We always work, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. It's all about it's all about social media and letting people know what's going on. We are all finished up at the beer bistro, and uh, the boys are hungry for pizza. So we're gonna hit that same place that Carol, Ben, and I went when we were down here last. It's just down here across the street. <laughs> You know what, we should cross the street here, guys. It's only 9 o'clock. So We're slowly lo losing Lewis. Me and Lewis have been up for like... 30 fucking hours. Yeah, more than that now. Yeah, fucking hours. It's 1am in England. It's 1am. I've been mean, up since 11 the, the day before yesterday, so... It's 2 o'clock. No, it's 1 o'clock. Because you're 5 hours different. No, because your clock's went different. Look, home, 106. Oh, uh, okay. I'll take your word for Little it then. Times on my screen. There's Hero Certified Burgers. Oh, okay. They make a pretty good egg burger. All right, yeah. So, pizza. Pizza. Oh, <laughs> So, what did you get on yours? Um, mozzarella. Oh, you got <laughs> Just pepperoni. Mozzarella and, mozz and pepperoni. No, because I'll, I'll fucking go everywhere. Are you coming up to their room, or...? No, I'm, I think I'm going to go to mine. So you're nine, right? Yeah. So what'd you get on yours? Um, put all that go on me. I, I got... Oh. I, should go, wait, I should go to yours while I eat this, because I don't yeah. have to sit and eat in the quiet. Yeah. Okay, so don't get off on the next hot, okay. the next bowl. I just, oh. I just thought, I just thought... They saw, your, they saw which floor you're on. <gasps> No, You're screwed. In the dark, the now they're gonna attack you on Sunday Easter. All right, guys. It is like 11 o'clock at night. The other boys start falling asleep on the bed as we're eating pizza. Nice. So it is time to get myself to sleep. I'm going to compress some footage and we'll see you in the morning. And now it's time for happy birthday shout outs for Tuesday, March 22nd. And they are Bob, Christian, Jerry, Scott R, Scott H, Matthew, Derek, Eric, Tim, Michael, Olivia, Edgar, and Dave. Happy birthday to every single one of you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you had for your very special birthday dinner, whether you ate in or you ate out. Happy birthday.